Hey everyone, it's Kendra Wolfgram with the Solomon Group. Welcome to this week's episode of The Real. Today we are going to talk about appraisal gap coverage. So let's first start off with the definition of an appraisal. Um, so this usually is required by your lender to ensure that the amount that you agreed to pay for the home is equal to or less than the appraised value. Um, so we want that appraised value to be either greater greater than or equal to the amount that you're putting in your offer. So an appraisal is when the lender sends out a licensed appraiser to go to the home, evaluate it, and write up a report. Um, This will give us a value on the home. Um, So now let's go to what is appraisal gap. Appraisal gap is the difference or gap between the fair market value determined by the appraiser and the amount you agreed to pay in the offer. Um, So like I mentioned, you know, we want that appraised value to be higher than um, what you put in the offer or equal to. Sometimes, you know, the amount can come back lower, which is what the seller is concerned about. Um, And that's where appraisal gap coverage kind of comes into play. So when buyers, especially right now, when they're submitting offers, um, because it's a seller's market and it's competitive, one way to make their offer look more competitive um, is to offer appraisal gap coverage. Because as a seller, you know, you're afraid that the appraised value is going to come in low um, because that's where you're going to run into more issues. So what buyers are doing is they're saying we will pay X amount of dollars um, above the appraised value, you know, if it does come in low to kind of make up for that difference or that gap. Um, so, but the trick is, is that you do have to have those funds available. You have to have that cash in hand at the time of closing um, because let's say um, you put in an offer for $150,000 Um, but the appraised value comes in at 140. Well, if you agreed on $5,000 of appraisal gap coverage, you're still paying 145 and you have to bring that extra five grand to closing. Um, so, and then we can kind of get into what should you do when the appraisal is less than the offer? Um, well, like I mentioned, you could write up front in the offer, you know, say that you're going to pay that difference. Otherwise, if you don't do that, then there's a few other options. You could renegotiate the offer. You know, the seller might be willing to come down in price, but it's it's better to have that appraisal gap coverage right up front. Um, because like I said, if you're going up against multiple offers, then it's going to really make your offer stand out because it's making it easier for the seller to move forward. Um, another option, if the appraised value comes in low, you could also possibly dispute the appraisal. It's not very easy to do. And a lot of times, you know, your agent's going to have to come up with some, um, comparisons in the area and send them to the lender. They might not get approved, but sometimes it's worth a shot. Otherwise last option, which, you know, of course we don't want to get to that point, but walking away from the sale is another option when it comes to having the appraisal lower than the offer to purchase price. So um, if you have any questions about appraisal gap coverage or any other questions regarding real estate, feel free to reach out. We would love to connect with you and um, give you some more information. But thanks so much for tuning in for this week's episode of The Real. Let us know if there's a topic that you want us to talk about next.